Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video. This video will be quite interesting because in this video, I'm going to give some flutter task, basic, medium, and advanced to chat GPT. Uh, I know that this is going to solve the task, which I'm going to give it very nicely, but I want to see the code structure because in the company's code structure actually matters, right? So let's try to do it. I'm going to log in first and you can also try it on your own if you haven't tried chat gpt till now this is a very cool tool uh, powered by open ai built by open ai and uh, you must try it because this is quite interesting and some of the people who are worried that chat gpt is going to take up their jobs it can be true i won't deny it because as we are seeing the progress of the technology in our world it has already taken many jobs because in japan the restaurant um, managers they are being replaced by robots and clerks are being replaced by robots and simple tools, machine tools. So I won't deny it, but uh, if you're highly skilled, then definitely nobody can replace your job because robots can only do the work which uh, they're trained for, right? The AI, if you have trained a model fed into the machine, it will only work or it will only predict for those things, right? It won't be, uh, it won't have the human intuition to solve the things, the programming things, the problem solving things, right? So that's true. So it can take a job, but Focus on your skill, don't worry about the future, worry about the present. If you are learning the latest technologies in the present, then nobody can eat up your job, right? So let's try to use ChatGPT, enough of the same talks now. So let's click on next. Okay, so I already tried some of the things, but let me try it in front of you. So I'm going to first of all give it a very, very basic thing. Design a to-do app in Flutter. Right, this is a very basic thing. So let's see the code structure. Let's see the file structure, what it takes. And let's see which state management it uses, right? So as it is giving me the things, that's fine. I am not interested in those things, which is going to giving me, okay, so it is using SQF Lite. So is it using SQLite database? I think I should give it a thing that five is. So it is using secure storage also. That's good because uh, it already taking care of the security and it already took uh, by default it is taking a local database. It is not preferring any cloud database. So it is using a local database. That means the to do's will be stored in your uh, mobile only, right? They will not go to any uh, cloud storage. So this is a default thing it is taking. So, okay. So it uh, wrote a main.dart file in which it is a to do list. Okay, so it is directly writing it over here. That means it is using a very, very basic file structure. It is not structuring the files. That's fine. But we are getting a list without builder. Okay, so where is the data coming? Context index tool to do tile. And this is my list without builder. Okay, this is fine. Then to do tile is there. To do tile is there. That is fine. Okay, this is a model of the to do class. This is fine, but I'm still not figuring out where to do's. Yeah, this I wanted to know where the to do coming. It only took a empty list. So this is not what I expected because I wanted it to actually write the escape flight code also. So it has only written the main file code. That means it is expecting this to do's to be filled by the user. But let's say you are a noob, right? So this is why I'm telling that uh, it can take up your job, but it won't because this has only given me the UI code. Where will, where is the uh, SQF light code? How the UI will be updated, right? Because it has, you, you, you are seeing that. It is taking an empty list to do's, but it is not fulfilling this to do's or it is not creating a table in the SQF light. It is not uh, fulfilling that uh, table, right? So it is, it is only good for getting a general idea how you are going to solve it. So let me give it another question. Uh, create a to do app in block state management in Flutter. Let's see. So here also I'm not uh, expecting it to create a complete working to-do app which I can just download and try to use it. No, I just want to see the logic it writes because here only the UI logic is returned, right? No uh, CRUD operations are returned, right? So. That's actually good for the developers because now we are not worried that it can actually directly create the apps, right? So we are not worried. Okay, so it is telling that you have to use Flutter block library, dependency in the pubspec.yml, then uh, you have to use a block provider, block builder, which will be to update my UI. And yes, if you are interested in block, I just launched a, a, a Flutter block theory video, you can watch it. 
and then it is creating a to-do app block provider which will have an instance of my to-do repository this is fine that means it is creating repositories also this is good so this is good then i'm having a to-do list block builder is there okay so it is not using a block consumer that means it won't be able to listen to the states but it is only using a block builder that means it is going to update or it is going to build the ui if there is a new state so this is okay this is totally fine here also i have only got the main dot dart file in which there is a list to do list and it is using a block builder but still we haven't got the logic layer right as you know that block contains a logical layer and this is my ui so only ui is returned ui uh, file is returned but my uh, logic file is not returned that means event states block are not returned that's again a good thing for the developers because there we have to use our human knowledge or human brain to code the logics right so this was regarding a block now let me give it some more uh, detailed task let's say let's not write like, uh, write like that i'm creating a social media app i'm using firebase database i want to uh, code a feature to upload photos in firebase storage can you do it for me let's not use block let's not write block that will be too much but let's see if i'm getting a firebase storage upload photo code if i'm getting that that means this is crazy right because uh, that code is actually redundant and i don't want to write it again and again if chat gpt can solve that problem for me that will be amazing so it is telling me to use firebase storage dependency that is uh, quite fine use the put file method yeah this actually is good thing because now i actually know which function to code on the or to search on the stack overflow or on the internet that hey uh, this uh, give me the function of this put file function give me the code of this put file function this is good one thing i have actually got a good uh, okay so this is a select photo yes this is crazy because now i've got a code to pick an image from the gallery or from a camera that i can change then i'll get a selected photo and yes this is crazy this is really crazy this i can appreciate because here we have got a reference to my firebase storage bucket and this will store the file with the date time snapshot let's say uh, date time will be the file name and it is creating a photos collection or bucket in my firebase storage and it is going to okay so it is using put file function and it is awaiting for the on complete uh, callback and if there is an error if the error is null then it is going to give me the download url this is crazy this is actually a complete answer that i was expecting because ui anyone can create but if we are getting these functions that's a good thing uh, we have got from chat gpt right so these are the three tasks uh, that i want to show you that like i want to show you the scope of chat gpt where it is lacking and where it is uh, actually doing a very good job right so you try it on your own this is uh, open for you uh, try it till it is free to use and also create uh, amazing projects using chat gpt api if you want to do and uh, till the time it is free code it use it and that's fine right so i hope you like this video i hope this was interesting and if you didn't know about chat gpt this is a video where you have learned that this is a good product powered by open ai which is there in the market you can try it on your own so if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and hit the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot